Hello everyone. In this video I would like to show you the new version of MMD's Market Scanner, version 6.1. The process of installing the scanner, configuration, and how it works in practice. We start with the installation. We have already downloaded the scanner package to the disk. Unzip it. We will see a directory with subdirectories. Now we start MetaTrader, and in MetaTrader we select File, Open Data Folder. We minimize the MetaTrader for a while and now we drag the files we unzipped into the data folder exactly as they are, along with the subdirectories. We return to the MetaTrader, and now in the MetaTrader in the Navigator window, we right click on the indicators and select Refresh. Below in Strategies, we have Market Scanner listed. We check if there are candle volume indicator and clouds MMD indicator as well. We can now proceed to run the scanner. We open any chart and drag the scanner onto it. Before we start the scanner, we fine tune the parameters to our liking. Let's go through them one by one from the top. The first parameter, use symbols from market watch window, determines whether the list of instruments displayed here in the market window is to be used, or whether the list of instruments we have below in this parameter is to be used. This means that if this setting is true, the symbols displayed in the market window will be used, if it is false, the symbols entered here by hand will be used. More instruments can be added, separated by a semicolon. The next parameter is the maximum number of symbols to display. If you enter more symbols, or if there are more than 30 symbols in the market watch window, the maximum number of symbols displayed will be limited to 30. The next two parameters set the frequency of the scanner. The next parameter determines whether clicking on the button next to a particular instrument on the screen will open a chart of that instrument. And now there is the method used by the scanner to look for a new chart when it opens. There are three options. The first is not to look for the currently open chart, but to open a completely new chart when you click on it. If you set the option, find open chart by symbol, the scanner will find this chart and will not open a completely new chart, but will go to an already open chart. The last option specifies that not only the symbol, but also the time frame must match. Here is another option that determines how new charts are opened. Another is the name of the template to be used for the newly opened chart. You can create your own template and drop any set of indicators and EAs you use on it, and the scanner will immediately open a new chart with that template. Interface scaling, you can fit more instruments on a chart or zoom in on a 4K monitor, for example. Show separator lines, whether to show the horizontal lines that separate individual instruments. This greatly improves readability. The next section in the scanner settings is alerts. The first parameter determines whether alerts are sent at all. Another parameter specifies whether the alerts are to be limited to a specific hourly interval. This is useful if, for example, you have a scanner running 24-7 on a VPS and do not want it to wake you up at night with alerts. Pop-up alert is a standard alert in MT4. Mobile notification alert is an alert sent to your mobile phone. Email alert is alert sent via email. The next section is signal settings. To begin with, we have period settings for MMD averages. If you want to experiment with other averaging values, you can specify them here. In version 6, there is already an option to work on all signals in a single instance of the scanner in parallel. The scanner currently recognizes four types of signals, three main and one additional. Let's go through them one by one. The first is the detection of the intersection of red and orange clouds. The second type of signal is the orange cloud test, and the third is the volume spike, which is a sudden increase in volume on a candlestick, detected according to the algorithm used in the Novo Nordisk indicator. The fourth type of signal is the coming signal which refers to the situation where there is a potential for a cloud crossing signal to form on a candlestick that is in the process of forming and has not yet closed. Another parameter determines the distance that activates the alert. The next two parameters relate to the volume oscillator mentioned earlier, which is the detector of these volume spikes. The first is the period from which volume values are taken for normalization and detection of such anomalies, large spikes. 
and the second is the alert level. The higher we set this, the less often we get a signal. And now there are settings for individual time frames. Here from M1 to D1. For day trading, for example, you can choose that you monitor M15 and H4 and only turn on signals on these two time frames. For scalping, we can set ourselves M1 and M15 or M1 and M5 and trade in a similar way for each time frame. For each time frame there are also directional settings on higher intervals, that is, for example on M1 we specify the direction from M5. Should the signal match this direction or not? So much for the scanner settings. We click on OK. The scanner has started and we see a brief display on the screen. Here we have information about what the scanner parameters are currently set to. Below this we have a list of instruments being monitored. Here in this section we have the directions which are defined as MMD directions on individual time frames. The red arrow is a downtrend, the green arrow is an uptrend and blank means that the two orange and blue clouds are somehow intertwined and the direction cannot be clearly defined. The next section is already specific signals on individual time frames. We can set ourselves which intervals are monitored in the scanner settings, or we can manipulate these settings for ourselves on the fly. Here we have the signal alert settings, the three I mentioned earlier, and a legend indicating which signal means what. In the first column we have the signal already confirmed after the candlestick closed and the signal coming up. A capital C is a confirmed signal, a small c is a potential signal. The green color is the buy signal, and the red color is the sell signal. In the second column, the middle one, there are the orange cloud touch signals and the letter T to distinguish this signal. Color codes stay the same. In the last column there are volume signals. They can refer to a current candle that is just forming, a small V appears with a lighter purple. On a closed candle we already have a capital V and a darker color. I am back after a short break. In the meantime, a couple of alerts have been generated and a pop-up appears. At H4 we have a T signal for sell. We open the H4 chart. The blue cloud clearly shows us the downtrend. The red cloud recently crossed the orange cloud and we had a downward impulse. Where we had a signal that the scanner gave us beautifully was this touch and this touch of the orange cloud, and then a nice move down for over 180 pips. There were a lot of nice signals of that kind of cross or retracement. We can look at another situation on D1 on USDJPY. We also have a blue cloud, above it an orange cloud, which is, let's say, a potential direction to buy and the signal where price goes down into that orange cloud. Now let's look at a volume signal. Here on CADCHEF1 has been generated recently. We enter the chart and here we have a bold green candlestick. That means that there was much higher than average volume. We can show the volume for a moment to see what it looks like. And here we can clearly see that this volume has broken out. It is often the case in situations like this that there is an increase in volume during pullbacks if the trend is to continue. Potentially, we should be looking for a buy signal here. After the formation of such a long candlestick with high volume, you can try to enter at its pivot and also at the open price of that particular candlestick. The price here pulls back to the open of this candle with high volume, the price reaches approximately 50% of this candle. Often such candles are tested to the pivot and the movement continues. These are the trade signals you are looking for.